So guys, just got this in the mailbox today. Can't wait to try it out. Stay tuned. So guys, welcome back to my channel, Brian the Floridian, coming to you with a mail call and also a review of a sort. Uh, just got this in the mailbox today, and I'm sort of late to the party. But, I mean, this came out, I, I believe, about a few months ago. This is the new Supply um, SE Edge Razor, the single edge SE, and this is the box it came in. So I just took it out of the cardboard box, that, that the mailing box that, that it came in, and... I can't wait to try it out. But anyway, guys, I'm going to do a, a box opening right here on camera for you guys. So it's wrapped up in plastic. And as you can see, just a basic box. Just says supply on the on the, on the the end of the box right there. Supply uh, lid-free on both ends. It's got the picture of the SC Edge Razor. And I got the black finish, by the way. This is the black metal finish razor. And I've been seeing a lot of people use it, so I wanted, I wanted to try it out. And it says on the back right here, this is what it looks like on the, on the packaging. It says it's time to live free. Uh, shaving typically comes with nasty side effects. Nicks, bumps, bump, nicks, bumps, burn, and expensive proprietary blades. We're here to set you free. So that's what they say right here. And it just says, Nick's up technology, our unique shaving Fins are engineered to give you a close shave without risk of cuts, which is good because I have sensitive skin. And it says also, hair passes through while keeping your skin safe. So I got this razor also for me, but also for my wife to try because I've been trying to get her into a uh, single edge uh, shaving for, for her. And she's used the leaf before, the leaf twig, and she likes it, but I think she kind of likes, is a little bit scared of the blades, the blade feel on that razor, but I got this for me, and I'm, I might have her try it out. But this says also quick load cartridge. So this is a injector type razor, kind of like the, along the mode of, you know, like the old injector style from Schick razors. It says it includes a cartridge of eight non-proprietary injector style blade blades with no flex design. Load them quickly, safely, and easily, which is a good thing. And Japanese made blades. So these blades are actually made in here. I imagine they're gonna be in the box. It says they're made in Siki, Sikai City, Japan. So they're Japanese blades. And this is a matte black finish. So let's take a look. So that's that's the box. Let's take a look inside. So let's take a plastic off. Open the box, and I believe it opens from the end. Let's see how they open this thing? It's almost like child childproof box almost. Okay, if I can do this without without messing up the box. Okay, oh, okay, it slides out like this. So first time opening the box, and there is the razor right there. And there's a little box card that comes in the box it says stop, read this first, and it shows you how to load the razor up. A key injector style loader, blade loader. So even gives you a number on the bottom, text doll to this number for help. So nice touch, nice instructions here. And it gives you, like I said, a little bit of uh step by step on how to load the injector blades into this razor. But here's the, here, here's what it looks like. So nice, kind of nice little presentation there. Oh man, it's nice and nice and heavy. So definitely has some nice heft to it. And that's the razor right there. Nice. And I believe this screws off right here. This screws off the off the razor and. 
from the old razors, I mean, from the other ones, uh, I think the 2.0 from Supply, you can change the different, you know, the different plates here and get like, you know, sensitive, uh, normal, I believe, and aggressive. I don't think this has that, but let's take a look. But anyway, that's what it looks like. And I don't think there's a blade actually lit in there. I think it's just a, just something that's, yeah, I don't think it's a blade. I think it's just, just something to hold it there until you put a blade into the razor. But definitely nice, look at that. Very, very nice. And these are the 16 fins, they say, which which is the, which is the premise of the next stop technology. So they call them persistent fins and they're supposed to reduce cuts up to 75% according to the website. And they're, they are basically attached to the safety bar right there. Pretty cool. Wait, wait, let's look at, let's look at the rest of the uh, box. So there is your blades right there. Or actually your blade key. Yep, your injector blades. So only one guard right here. I don't see any more. So I think this is just the one, just one uh, setting for this razor. I believe the pro has is the pro they make is adjustable razor where you can actually kind of adjust the settings right here. There's a little dial on the old, on the pro which this is not, but definitely a man. This is a nice heavy razor. So I'm gonna be doing a shave with this and trying this out, and I'm gonna load this on camera so I can show you guys how to do it. But pretty cool. And I paid about forty nine dollars for this razor. It's on sale right now. It was it was like fifty nine normally, so it's ten dollars off. At the at this filming at the time this filming right now it's forty nine dollars for this razor which is a great deal so it's supposed to have a, also a clog of free design on there so it's non clogging and like I said solid metal I don't think this is stainless steel but it's definitely definitely heavy it's some kind of metal maybe zinc alloy I'm not sure maybe coated zinc alloy but it's definitely heavy and. The premise of this razor is supposed to be really easy to get a great shave angle. So they say on the website it's only 15 degrees shave angle. So it's like this if you lay your face against that, that top bar right there, that top plate. So they say it's 15 degrees uh, shave angle. Really easy to find the shave angle. So guys, let me show you how to load the blade in this razor. And I'll show you how easy it is. So this came out of that box of blades. This is the, the uh, loading cartridge here. So I believe you take it from this side right there, you pretty much stick the key right into the side and you just push it, push the new blade in there, push the old blade out. Simple as that. So definitely this will be the first blade I'm using and I believe there's five. Let me see how many blades are in this. In this. I see there no, I'm sorry there's eight blades in here so definitely enough to get started for a while for a while with shaving with this so a lot of blade exposure so hopefully this will be nice and not too aggressive on my face but anyway guys I'll be using this for my shave so showing you this the uh, presentation also showing you the shave with this razor this supply SE edge so I'll be using this razor for my um, first shave and for the soap I'll be using is gonna be going to use one of my old favorites. I wouldn't say old, but I had had it probably less than a year. It's the uh, Moon Soaps Trade Winds. So this is a tallow-based soap. Oh man, it smells so good. So definitely a nice tobacco scented soap I'll be using for my shave. And for my brush, I'll be using my. Uh, I think this is called the yeah the Phantom Aerolite by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. So this is a huge brush, big 30 millimeter uh, grace, isn't it not? Has a retro cool looking handle. So this will be my brush for my shave. And I'm excited, the first time I've been using this Supply CD Razor. I've, I've never used a Supply CD Razor before, um, ever. So this will be an interesting experience for me. I've used this razor, which is a single edge razor. This is my Parker adjustable. So this is the only one that I've used that's similar to what I, similar to this 
razor right here, the supply. So very similar. This is a little, this is really, really mild. So I'm wondering how mild this razor will be, the supply razor. So I will check this out. Let me go and rinse my face, guys, and I will be right back. So guys, I'm back, got my face fully washed, fully hydrated for my shave, and I did the hot towel method with my shave. So, so guys, if you can't do a hot shower, best thing to do is do a hot towel, is grab some, grab some shaving soap or some shaving cream. Um, I even use Barbasol in the can, to be honest with you. Put some on my face, and then I put this towel over my face, this hot towel, like see, for about three, about three to five minutes, and it does a really good job of softening up your hairs on your face. That's one of the things I, I strongly encourage for any new weight shavers that are getting into using any kind of razor, like you know, double edge, single edge, uh, even straight razor shavers. Uh, definitely prepare your face accordingly and perfect. You know, do it right before you do your first pass because your face, it will work. I mean, your shave will go a long way and perform a lot better uh, if you use the right method on you know, preparing your face for your shave. But anyway guys, got my face fully hydrated. I'm gonna be using this, this Stray Wind soap, soaps by Moon Soap load up on my face. And I'm using the Phantom Aerolite brush from PAA. Very huge knot, by the way. This knot is so huge. It's like a 30 millimeter knot, and it's half my face when I, when I splay it, so. So lots of lather from this soap. I like it that they use tallow in their soap base because it does a great job of the slickness. And their soaps are incredibly slick. I love moon soaps. I think I have about three or four of their soaps in my shade den. So I definitely love all their soaps. I think the first one I got from Moon Soaps ever was old school and I just love that scent. But this is a nice tobacco scent right here. And to be honest, I think all their soaps are tobacco scented soaps or have this tobacco note in their In their scent formula. Yeah, look at that nice lather. Pretty thick. Yeah, just like yogurt almost. Greek yogurt. <laughs> Alright guys, let me get this off the snot track right here. First, before I start my shave or the gills. And consequently, that's what she shaves, she shaves with Jill's used to call this. The snot track when she used to clear it off the... Uh, lather from the underneath the nose and she has you know she's she's passed away a year or two ago but she she still has a channel on youtube so check her out uh she when she was when she was here when she was around she had great shape content and it's just a shame that it's pretty sad that she's not with us anymore and if she's listening jill miss you love you hope you're doing well up there <laughs> Well, let's go ahead and use this SE razor by Supply. And like I said, first time using the, the Supply razor ever, so. I'm trying to get this blade angle right. And they say about 15 degrees is where you want to go. Which I'm laying right on the uh, top right here, the top of the, the base, I guess the plate, the top plate. Wow. Yeah, pretty smooth. So I looked on, online on the website and this is actually made of die, they call it die cast zinc alloy and it's coated with uh, some kind of, they said aircraft coating, if that makes any sense. So it's supposed to last a, a lifetime. But so far, man, the shave is really nice. Really easy, really easy shave angle. 
And just a little bit of a history about supply. I believe they came, I think, believe they've been around since 20, is it 2018 or 2019? And I just remember these, they were on that show Shark Tank, uh, trying to promote their company. And they actually did, a, did win a contract with one of the uh, Shark Tank guys on there. I think it was the guy, I can't think of his last name, but his first name was Mark. Yes, yeah, Supply was started by a couple named Jennifer and Patrick Cado. Cado, I think it's C O D D O U. That's that's their last name, and they are from Fort Worth, Texas. And I remember they were. I remember they took their idea to Shark Tank. I even watched the episode. That was back. That was back when they first came out with their first razor. I want to say it was the uh, the the original. Supply Razor, maybe the 2.0 or original, but. But they actually won out, you know, one swayed one of the uh, judges there. And I think his name is Mark, yeah, his name is Mark. If I get his name, last name, I'll probably put it right there on the screen, but, or maybe his picture, but he ultimately, there was two guys that were trying to get the contract with supply to help them get started. But I remember that episode, they had a, they had their, when they walked on the set, they had their little setup there with a sink. They also had a guy that, that was like, I think a George Washington character that had walked on there on stage and his mustache fell off. It was pretty funny. I'm not sure if that was intended, but it was actually comical. So really easy blade angle, very, very nice pass. Yeah, very, very, I mean, it's only one setting, but man, it's very efficient. Yeah, very smooth. All right, guys, first pass is in the books. I'm gonna raise my face, guys, and I'll be right back. So guys, that first pass was pretty fantastic. No nicks, pretty smooth. The blade angle was really easy for this supply razor to to, uh, to learn. Like you said, put your face right against that top plate and you are pretty much in business there. And it, the uh, 16 little fins actually keep you from feeling the blade, which I don't feel at all, but definitely, definitely a pretty cool design. And like I said, pretty hefty weight. I looked online, this is about 92 grams. So yeah, definitely a heavier razor for sure for a single edge razor. But anyway guys, pretty, pretty impressed with the first pass. Let's do another pass here. Man, this soap smells amazing. I love this, I love this scent. So the soap has, uh, it does, I looked on the line for the uh, scent notes. It does have tobacco, but it also has bay rum. Also key lime, it's got a key lime scent to it, or a key lime uh, scent note. Bay rum, bergamot, and of course tobacco, so very nice. That key line does give it a little bit of a zing in the scent. Nice little fruity zing to it. But this scent is beautiful. I mean, this would be a great cologne to wear actually in Florida if they even decide to make this. They, if Moon Soap decides to make this into a cologne or an EDT, I would buy it. It's that, it's that nice. All right, guys, that's, that's going to be enough for the second pass. So let's go across the grain with this razor, see how well it performs. So I'm definitely doing a full review on this razor. And so far, it has not disappointed at all. Very nice shave angle. Yeah, very nice. I don't feel, I don't even feel a blade. But I know it's taking the hair off because I feel the hair coming off. 
and my face is pretty smooth. So even though they sent the, the blades with it, I can probably use my own Schick ingest, injector blades with this razor. But they sent me about eight blades, so that's enough for a while. I think they, I think they said it. I think they said online that it's about ninety days worth of shaves, or eight to I think we say eight to ten shaves per blade, something like that. Which is the norm for these injector style blades, because I get that much from my using the injector style blades on my Parker adjustable single edge razor. Yeah, consequently, I, I still have a, a lot of blades from the Parker, the, with, the, with the Parker razor, which is right here. I still have the, the, a lot of blades from the Parker brand that they sent me to go with that razor. So I'll probably put one of those blades in this razor and see how well it, it performs. Yeah, very easy. Very efficient. Let's go ahead and put some more soap underneath the uh, gills here. And go from side to side here. Yeah, very nice shave. Very nice. This would be a great razor for a beginner if you want if you're looking into getting a single edge razor shaving. If you don't want to go with a DE, this will probably be a great fit for someone that wants to get out of the cartridges. But anyway guys, second pass was really, really fantastic also. Yeah, I can probably get away with doing a two pass shave, but I wanna do a three pass just to make sure I get the full review and the, the full feel of this razor. But anyway, guys, I'll be right back. All right, guys, back to my final pass here, which would be against the grain, or the money pass, what they call it, in some of the wet shaving circles that I've seen. Man, this brush is beautiful, very nice and soft. Not a lot of backbone, but man, this brush is very, very soft, very nice, and just feels good on the face. That's one thing about PA, they, they make some great brushes, and value brushes too, for, for the price. I don't think I paid any more, I don't think I paid more than $25 for this brush. Just a nice looking brush. I love the way it looks, the, the old retro looking handle. All right guys, that's gonna be enough for the uh, third pass there. And also I was looking at, I, I, just, I, forgot, I forgot one of the scent notes in the soap. So it does have I looked online because I man, I was like, why, why does it smell so good? But they mentioned Caribbean bay leaf, uh, warm tobacco, cedarwood, which I was missing cedarwood in that set description, uh, bergamot, and a zap of key lime. So definitely the key lime gives it a nice zing, like I said. But it's a beautiful scent. Very, very nice. It's almost like a lime scented soap in a way. You know, I wouldn't say true lime, but man, you do get that lime vibe with, it, with this soap. But just a beautiful scent. The tobacco makes it smell really great. Wow, look how easy it is to shave. This thing is so easy. And just to show you how much it clogs up, I'll show you on my pass. But anyway, see how it, it doesn't really clog? The leather just goes right through the bottom. 
So this is like a, almost like an open comb razor, which really is technically it's an open comb, open comb steel edge razor. And you can also kind of go over the same the same spot maybe a couple more times and than you would with the double edge razor and get away without cutting yourself. All right, one more time with the gills right here. All right, take a quick. Yeah, very simple. All right guys, that's a shave. And pretty, pretty great. I would say one of the best shaves I had in a while. Yeah, don't feel any hair. Very, very close. Let's see, a little bit still right here, but I'm not gonna chase it because I don't wanna mess, mess up the shave. But very, very nice shave. Pretty impressed with this SC razor. But anyway guys, let me go ahead and my face and I'll be right back. All right guys, back to my post shave. So I did get a little nick toward the end of my shave. But I think it's because I was pushing down on the razor with the SE, SE razor. I was pushing down because I didn't feel the blade, which is very, very odd because I don't feel the blade at all in this razor. But I know it's cutting because I have a smooth uh, BBS shave. Yeah, very, very smooth. But I think I was a little bit too careless pushing down right about here. So I had a little nick. But other than that, the shave was fantastic. Very nice, very smooth shave. This could be a very good daily driver for anybody. But man... Very impressed with the supply of SC Razor. I've, I would say this is probably even better than the one I have right here, which is my Parker uh, adjustable razor. So definitely this, this, I have this thing set up. This goes from, from one to five for a setting. I'm on, and I get a, I get a great shave from five, but man, this is, this is only has one setting and I get a better shave than this thing does than my Parker. So definitely liked the razor so far. I'm really liking the razor so far because I had a great shave, but nice hefty weight, 92 grams. It's pretty solid metal construction. What more can you not like about this razor? But anyway, I looked online and also when I ordered this razor, it was 49. It was 59 dollars normally, but it's down marked down at 49 dollars right now. I think there's a, there's a there's a special going on right now with supply, so I would consider that a steal because this razor has a. 100, 100 day money back guarantee. If you don't like it, you can send it back. And also it's got a lifetime warranty on the razor, so you can't beat that deal. And also eight blades. So very, very, just a just a steal for a price. I mean, this is a great value razor. So I would consider this a steal. And if you guys are on the fence about this, I would say get this razor because it's great. If you want to get into single edge razor shaving, this is a great razor to, to definitely Definitely start out with because you will not cut yourself if you if you, as long as you don't apply pressure, you will not cut yourself with this razor. This razor is so easy to shave with with that 15 degree shave angle. I mean, it's just basically just a matter of just laying this right on top of your face and just going down with the strokes or going up and just a pretty easy easy shave angle to really learn. It's a great razor, and I can see how this would be great for a woman or a man facial. Or any or shaving anywhere on your body for a woman, but pretty impressed. So, hey guys, this is what I use for my shave, and with that, you get also the eight blades with this thing. So, a very very nice touch. They include the blades, and also my shave. I used the Tradewind soap for my shave, and I'm gonna be using this for the post shave, which is the shave, which is the Moon Soaps Tradewind's Balm. So, let's go ahead and put that on the face. And I just love the scent. The scent is amazing. Put this a little bit on the face and get it. Oh man, I love this scent. 
just the bay, just the bay leaf and the 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 lime and the tobacco. It just combines to be a, a beautiful scent. Man, this is a very enjoyable shave. But guys, I use that for my shave. Use the soap, the trade winds, and the balm. And last but not least, the Phantom Airlight brush by PAA. One of my favorite brushes to use. It's a super big knot. It's that gray synthetic knot that I think they call it Timberwolf knot, if I'm mistaken. But it's very, very nice knot. Very huge knot. No backbone, but man, it's very soft. It just feels nice in the face. And this this brush is great for creams also. One of my favorite brushes to use for for what use them with shaving cream. But anyway, guys, really impressed with the, with the razor. So I think they hit it. I think they hit this out of the park. Very nice construction, nice shave, great value. Forty nine dollars. You can't beat that deal. It's a steal, guys. Definitely a steal. I would definitely get it if you're on the fence. But man, and you're and you're supporting a, a small business when you buy this razor too. Uh, mom and pop business. You know Shannon and Patrick uh, Cadeau. I'm saying it right. Hopefully I'm saying the name right. But anyway, guys, if you're watching, hope I'm saying you guys' names right. I'm very impressed with the razor. But anyway, guys, have to shave. If you guys enjoy this video, hit like, subscribe. Let me know how you like my reviews. And I hope you enjoy your shaves. I hope you enjoy your week. Take care.